Matsu. She just okay. came up from Colorado Springs. Yeah, I believe she's the alternate this morning. She is, and I see her husband and a couple of friends from Colorado Springs sitting in the audience, so they made the trip. Oh, scoreboard's there. Looks oh like my goodness, look at that. Set the countdown. We're starting to look like it's gonna be a game, folks. So in the pack for Minnesota, I see Scarman Holectra. And, um, jukebox number A18. Minnesota making the trip with a couple of their Team USA skaters. Five second count from the NSO and there's the whistle to start and this game. And we're off. Jammer on jammer action right off the beginning. Yep, second hand smoke knocks Rang Jean into the middle of the pack, forcing her to skate backwards. Neither skater through the pack yet. Rang Jean's pushing at the front, um, but second hand smoke is out. And she is way out. <laughs> lead jammer. Ranjan still struggling to get through that pack. Some nice offensive clears from Sarelson, and Ranjan is out. Secondhand smoke approaching the front of the pack, which is full of Denver skaters and a four wall. She's struggling to push through that. Ranjan still trying to catch the pack. She's about a half lap behind. Number nine calls it off, having quite a bit of trouble with that Denver wall, and she's picked up one point. Yep, it looks like zero for Mile High, one for the Minnesota All-Stars. We have 29 minutes left to play. Number 187 steps up for Minnesota, that's Lexicuter. And 719 for the Mile High Club, that's Amanda Sharpless. In the pack we have Quigley and Barrett and Lester for Denver. And one other, it looks like S.H. Long. Empty penalty box after the first jam. That's a good thing. There's the whistle. Oh, Sharples does a little spin move. She's Sharples. gonna bust right through that four wall of the Minnesota girls in the front, maybe. She's pushing through. She's, and she's out. She is the lead jammer, Amanda Sharpless. Quigley headed to the box. Pivot for Denver. And not sure some what her penalty was. Defensive action in the back from the jammer from Minnesota Lexicutor but Sharpless pushing at the front again and she's got her scoring pass. And that's a full five points for Amanda Sharpless. Lexicutor still stuck in the pack. Now she's out on her initial pass. Sharpless almost through with her second pass. Looks like that'll bring the score Oh, oh, a back bot call. Right as she was ready to exit the pack. So Sharpless will sit down and this will be a power jam for Minnesota. Number 187, Lexicuter is struggling with that Denver defense at the moment, pushing through for her first scoring pass. Little pile up there on turn three with Lexicuter at the bottom. They knock her out, they're forcing her to go back. And Susie Long got a cut major. She She'll take a little sit in the box. She was trying to drag that jammer back and ended up um, running into. Got to watch those cuts each year. Oh, was that this a penny pass? That was a penny pass to number 73. It was. To number 13, Medusa. So she's coming around on a pass here. Gets through easily. Wow. And she got through there quick for a full five points. So the tides have changed here. Minnesota taking the lead with 11. Mile High Club with 5. Medusa and looks like she's a little bit of a little full energy there, so uh, Yeah, that was a good strategic good move, move for them, absolutely. Yes. Sharpless standing in the box now. And that's the end of the jam right as Sharpless was released. And someone got called for a high block major. I'm not sure who that was. Here she comes. Who, what is her? Minnesota 74. girl. Scolateral damage is going to take a trip to the box for a high block major. We've got 26 uh, minutes, 23 seconds left in this period. The score standing Minnesota 11, Mile High Club 8. Up to jam for Denver, it's Adams. And for Minnesota, that's number 75, Harmony Killer Brews. Whistle blows. Adam Adams started back a little bit from the jammer line, but she does get through wow. first and picks up lead. Yep, she took the inside of that track and just got right on through. Harmony's still struggling with Denver defense, and now she's out. And Tracy Aker's taking a trip to the box for an unspecified. Adams through for four points. And the jam gets called off. Zero for Minnesota on that one. 
Seem to be a little bit of argument here between a skater and a and a ref. I'm not sure what's going on here. So that uh, was our second lead change, I believe. 12 to 11 yes, now was. in favor of the Denver Roller Dolls. And they've brought uh, Sandrine Renjan out to jam, number 24. And for Minnesota, it's number nine. That's secondhand smoke. Just over 25 minutes left to play in the first period. Renjan pushing, pushing, pushing. Secondhand smoke knocked to the inside by Saracen. Renjan still pushing. Oh, she's on the inside. Forced to go back. And secondhand smoke makes it out as your lead jammer. Ranjan finally out. Held back briefly by number 127. 727, I'm sorry, Hertrud Stein. She's coming around for points, but the jam is called. Jam is called just as the Barrett got back in from the penalty box. Score now is Mile High Club 12, Minnesota 15. We have 24 minutes and 25 seconds left. Two Denver blockers in the penalty box. Midge Mayhem jamming for the Mile High Club and uh, Lexi Cuter jamming for Minnesota. There's the whistle. Uh, both jammers pushing at the defensive walls. It looks like it's a two on three pack advantage yeah, for Minnesota. Midge getting held back and Lexi's just busting out. She's your lead jammer. So Minnesota's got some scoring potential here again. And Midge still fighting with the four wall, Minnesota. Lexi moving right through that four wall. She's gonna pick up a grand slam on natural there. All five points. That girl's got some legs. She can she can move the track pretty fast. Looks like the pivot for Denver. Akers is back out of the box, so we're a four on three pack advantage now for Minnesota. Looks like a cutting penalty on the Minnesota jammer. So Lexicutor's gonna go take a seat. Oh no, so that's a power jam for Denver. If they can get Midge Mayhem through. Midge fighting at the front with two Minnesota blockers. Those Minnesota girls have some height on them. They, they really are do. tall with long legs. Yeah. It's amazing. And they're not afraid to hit at the front of the pack. Oh, no. Like. <laughs> Sarilson coming nice to the whip. rescue, giving a whip to Midge Mayhem. Awesome. Gets her out of the pack. It's like Denver's moving backwards to create some more scoring opportunities. Denver's coach is yelling for her to call it off but she's still trying to make it through the pack. Looks like there's three Minnesota blockers out there right now and giving Mitch a pretty hard time. She's a tiny girl. She's out front though. Oh, almost escaped and now she's out. Looks like. Oh, she got five. Seamus puts up all five. Denver hanging in the back. All four blockers back out on the track now. Denver um, looking to make the most of this power jam and bring the score back up in their favor. Mitch gets through, the jam expires. Secondhand smoke just came back on the track, so this will not be a power jam. Picked this up next. three right there at the end, too, for Minnesota. Oh, she so did. A little sneaky score there. <laughs> so we're, score now is uh, mile high, 22, Minnesota 23. It's a close game, Gonzo. It is, 21-48 left to play in this half. Up next to jam for Denver at Sharpless, and that's number 75 for Minnesota, Harmony Killer Bruce. Five seconds from the jam timer. We're about to get underway here. I see one Denver blocker in the box right now. Yeah, Sharpless through on the inside. Oh, she's through fast. Look at her go. A nice assist from Barrett there on the inside line to get her through. Pack is kind of stalled between turn two and, or one and two. Susie Long going to the box. Not sure what that call was about. It's like Sharpless pushing really hard against the front three wall of Minnesota. She's got two down, one to beat. Oh, now she's, she's got to get past Buzz tight rear. And she puts her out of play and makes it past her. It's a full five points for Amanda Sharpless. 
Sharples entering in. Oh, she's trying to call it, and she gets it called. Yeah, right as Harmony Killer Bruce was approaching the back of the pack there. So that brings the score up for Denver to 29, Minnesota at 23. Close, close game. Ranjan jamming for... Jamming for Denver, and then number nine, secondhand smoke for Minnesota. Sorry, I lost my mind there for a minute. Lost my focus. <laughs> Sorry, I can finish your sentences for you. I've never gotten to call with you, Gonzo. This is a first, so thank you. Really? For, I thought yeah, we did we last never year. Have. I've sat at the computer before. But I guess you've done the... the so action underway. It looks okay. like Francie's pushing at the Minnesota wall there, but Minnesota jammer Minnesota's out got it. She's lead jammer, says the umpire. Tracy Akers back. going to the box for an unspecified call. Ranjan getting held back there for a moment by Jukebox, but she is out as well. And secondhand smoke through for an easy four points. Call Rivas just got released from the box right as that call was made, right as the jam was called off. So. so Minnesota hanging in there with 27 points to Denver's 29 now with 1940 left in the first period. We have two Denver people in the box. Looks like Susie Long and Tracy Akers. And the Minnesota box has one, one blocker. Looks like 172. That's Sheba Schenken. Crowd is making the Gator symbol because Gator Dunn is jamming for Mile High Club. That's right, number 270. But out for lead jammer However, <laughs> Lexicuter. <laughs> Boy, with those legs, she just took off like a shot. Gator not too far behind, though. I'd say less than 20 feet for sure. Yeah, I think she's going to be forced to call this off. Putting the pressure on. Let's see what Lexi does. Pack really flying. Pack is really <laughs> moving. It looks like the speed t test out there. <laughs> it does. Jam is called 0-0. Zero, zero. Yeah, so that was a good outcome. <laughs> and lead, now they're all out of breath. Lead jammer kill for Denver, so. <laughs> yep. Looks like so, there's going to be a timeout at this point. Uh, was that a Minnesota timeout? Um, I'm not sure. I didn't see. I do not see an official up there signaling. Well, we do have a few things we could mention while it's a timeout. Um, if you do want to become a Denver Roller Doll sponsor, you can email sponsorship at denverrollerdolls.org. For more information, they're always looking for business partners. If you're listening live in the Denver area, you can come and check out our fundraiser called the Smash Bash today at 2 p.m. at the Mellow Mushroom. That's located at 1201 16th Street, Denver, All on right. the 16th Street Mall. Action back underway. It looks like we have Adams jamming and for have Denver and 75. How many killer Harmony Killer Brew is getting tied up there at the back of the pack by uh, Rivas. Ooh. And Adams is out for lead jammer. Harmony still in the pack. Dealing with number four, Rivas, and number 314, Lester, but she escapes. Oh, oh Adams Adam. calling it from the floor. But she gets knocked down by uh, definitely got that low block call, though. Gertrude so Stein. Adams sitting in the box. This becomes a power jam. Oh, she called it, but it didn't get called. Well, she, as yep. she was trying to call it from the she floor, got the she got the low block. Blocked. Yep. <laughs> yeah, so. Looks like Harmony's still struggling with the three wall of Denver, but she is out now. Oh, and she is penalized as well, so oh, we're going to get a swap no. here. That's going to send Adams back in, and she's making her way around in reverse to get also, back in Also, Hertrude Stein just got sent to the box. Looks like Minnesota dragging her all the way back as far as possible. Adams threw on the inside line for an easy pass. I believe that was her scoring pass. Yes, four points, says Seamus. Crest Almighty being sent to the box, but then being waved off because their box is full of blockers. Another easy pass for Adams on the outside line. That's a five-point grand slam. Harmony struggling at the back of the pack with Rivas and number 214, Lester. Looks like she might have gone to some defense. Oh, my goodness. 314, Lester for Denver going to the box, along with Crest Almighty finally taking her seat. Adams coming around again for a scoring pass. She takes the inside line and is through for the full five points, and it looks like that jam expired. Minnesota picking up four, I think I saw him hold up. Looks so. like the score is uh, 48 for the Mile High Club. 
and 32 for Minnesota. We have 16.30 left to play in this half. Yeah, they opened it up a little bit with that with that marathon jam there. I think that was Yeah, the that really did some damage there, but still a very close game. Out to jam next for Minnesota. We have number nine, that secondhand smoke. And Francine Ranjan for Denver. There's the whistle. And they're pushing, pushing, pushing. Jammer's pushing through the same hole, it looks like, trying to anyway. Yeah. <laughs> Secondhand smoke gets knocked to the inside line. And is Ran Jean right behind her. Still pushing, still tangled in the pack. Ran Jean out front, taking lead Jammer. Secondhand smoke in the middle of the pack. Knocked down by Barrett, or sorry, by Sage. And she takes the outside and secondhand smoke is through. Like but not cleared. your lead. Francie back in the pack here. She's got one Minnesota blocker to beat. She scored some points, calls it off. She gets four points for that. Patiently waits for her coach. She did. <laughs> to she tell was her to call it off. Watching the brilliant Scott Free the whole time. So that brings the score for the Mile High Club up to 52, Minnesota 32. So now we have Midge Mayhem for Denver and uh, Lexi Cuter. Wow, that's a big height difference between those two. Yes, indeed. <laughs> Looks like in the pack for Denver, we have Sarilson and Rivas. And it looks like Lester is Akers. standing in a box, so she should be out in just, in just a second. Midge Mayhem really pushing against those Minnesota girls. Minnesota blocker headed to the box. That's number 1837, Diamond Ruff. Both jammers still pushing at this pack on their first pass. Midge kind of recycled to the back Lexi there. Lexi Cuter gets out front and takes lead jammer. Almost she's, she's lead, but she's got Tracy Akers getting in her way. Denver doing a great job of bridging up front. To they were. Re Akers Revis still. provided an excellent bridge for Akers to keep messing with Lexi. Mitch Mayhem out of the pack now, too. Not lead jammer, and she's probably about 20, 30 feet behind Lexi Cuter. Denver's making a strong four wall up front as Lexi enters the back of the pack for her scoring pass. And she calls it off. That's a zero, zero jam there, folks. There's a lot of work for zero points. Again, a nice lead kill by Denver. They're pretty good at that. Yes, 52-32 with Denver in the lead. 13.40 left to play. Looks like we have uh, Harmony Killer Brews up for Minnesota. Is that Sharpless for Denver? I think it's Sharpless. <laughs> I can't see her number. Yes, it's Sharpless. <laughs> There's the whistle, Sharpless on the inside line, pushing at the front with three Minnesota blockers up there. Yep, and she's got that good agility. Look at her go. She just skipped right over them and she's out. She's your lead jammer for Denver. Harmony's still fighting in the pack. Looks like S.H. Long doing some great defensive work to hold her back. Barrett going to the box. Sharpless in for her scoring pass now. She's fighting with a two wall at the front. Oh, nope. she's through. Minnesota tried to bridge, but they couldn't hold Sharpless back. That's a full five points for her, and she's to the back of the pack already. Here she goes again. They knock her to the inside and try to pull her back, but Denver's there to block their backwards progression on the track, and it looks like oh. Sharpless being penalized. I didn't see the call. She's headed to the box now. So Harmony's got the power jam. Sage being sent to the box for a clockwise block. Just two Denver blockers left. Wow, that is a full penalty box over there. Yeah, we've got SH Long and Quigley holding the defensive line on this power jam for Harmony Killer Bruce. And they are holding her well. She is still not out of this pack. Minnesota girl Diamond Ruff released from the box. She's joining the back of the pack. Barrett is also back in. So we're back to a three on three pack 
for both teams. This is a very rough jam. There's yeah. a lot of uh, body slams going on out there. Harmony and is taking a lot of abuse in this yeah. one, for sure. And again, she is still on this um, initial pass of her power jam here. Denver's doing a really good job of keeping the wall up front, but they're also trying to knock around those Minnesota girls and keep them kind of confused. So it looks like no additional points on that jam. Oh wait, nope, they're adding some. Oh, they are, okay. So actually for the Mile High Club, 61 and Minnesota sits at 32. Right at the end of that jam as it was expiring, Sharpless did stand up and was released from the penalty box. So both jammers being fielded again. Gator Dunn for Denver Roller Dolls and number nine, secondhand smoke for Minnesota. And a cut being called on the Minnesota jammer. Oh, so another power jam for Denver and this time it's Gator Dunn. Oh, the Minnesota girl is getting two minutes. She got called on a cut, but I think the second one might have been failure to leave the track. Hmm. She did skate on the inside she of the track for a for while quite a ways. and then exited longer than I would have. So this oh, could be Gator taking a beating by some Minnesota girls, but they're out of place, so they got to let her go. So a two-minute power jam for Denver. This could be a huge wow. scoring opportunity. Wow, game changer. Gator done to the outside. And Gator cuts, and she's exiting the track to sit in the penalty box. And because of the two-minute penalty, Gator gets right back up. A minute is reduced from the first jammer's time, and Gator's back in the game now. Oh, you're good at math. Yeah, the <laughs> penalty box management, it's not easy. Gator. Picking up five points on her way back in. Going in for another. Let's see what she can do here. So secondhand smoke now standing in the box. And she's released. So she's coming up against the four wall of Denver in the back as secondhand smoke is pushing in the front against Minnesota's defense. Secondhand smoke is almost out and she is. She is, yep, she's out. She's not your lead jammer. That was her initial pass. Gator Dunn getting hung up in the back of the pack. Yeah, she's taking a beating from uh, Scarman Electra. She's got Gator's number. Scarman number 28 was doing some great defensive work last night in the game against Rocky. And oh, yeah? Her. She's very tall. She's hard to miss. She's she's tall, and she's got her booty right up against Gator's, uh, let's say, uh, tummy. Very <laughs> aggressive locker. Yes, definitely. and she pushes her to the, she directs her to the inside and the outside. So right there before the jam was called, five points went up on the board for Minnesota. That was secondhand smoke. Bringing the score 36 for them, 71 for Mile High Club. Oh, nope. wait, wait, we have more. <laughs> score updates. <laughs> Apologies, 75 for Mile High Club. We are sitting across the room. Oh, timeout here. For Minnesota, timeout Minnesota. You know, we are sitting across the room from the scorekeepers, so they, they, they tend to add points after we get done talking. Yeah. <laughs> Just to embarrass us. <laughs> So yeah, part of the reason that we're not um, able to video broadcast this bout is because there's limited internet availability at the practice facility of the Denver Roller Dolls. So um, we're able to do a hotspot setup for an audio only stream, which requires yes. quite a bit less bandwidth. Um, and hope you enjoy the audio only call. We'll do our best to keep you updated on the action. We do We do have Todd Bradley here who works with DNN often. Uh, he is videoing the game and I believe the intention is to get this game up on archive and hopefully meshed with our audio. So yeah, maybe it'll maybe, make sense. Maybe they can sync it up at a later time. And <laughs> That's what we're hoping for, but it is being filmed. All right, timeout comes to a close there and up to jam for Minnesota. It's number 187, Lexi Cuter. And for Denver, it is Francine Ranjan, number 24. Sandrine Ranjon. Sandrine. Yeah. What did I say? Francine. <laughs> oh my God. You know why I say that? Because her name is Francie, Francie Pants. Pants. I know. It's also. I confusing. just want to call her Francie Pants. It's our job. We'll try to get it right. <laughs> <laughs> so Francie pushing Francie at that. Francie Pants Ranjon is pushing at the back of the pack. Yeah, Minnesota got a, a really strong four wall lined up and they're holding her back. She's pushing at the front, oh. gets knocked out. Yeah. And in the meantime, lead jammer goes to 187, Lexicutor for Minnesota. Couple little pileups there around turn two with Fran with uh, Ranjan. 
even though she's very agile on her skates and she's doing a lot of juking, it, it kind of just didn't work for her. Those Minnesota girls got in her way. So Sandrine's out, and in the meantime, Lexicutor's come around and scored five points. She's at, up again at the pack and calling it off another five points, four she, points this time. Yeah, Denver made a four wall there as she approached the back, and, and she just leaped right through it. Yeah, she kind of got around on the inside really <laughs> quick. Um, she had a lot of speed coming around. So that brings the score up to 50 for Minnesota, 75 for the Mile High Club. 7.29 left to play in this half. Up to jam for Denver, it's Adams. And for Minnesota, it's number two, that's Fanny Tanner. I think that's the first time we've seen her out for Minnesota today. Yeah, we saw her jam a little bit last night in the Rocky Mountain game. And she definitely put some points up for Minnesota. She's pushing at a four oh, wall of Denver in the back. Yep, yeah, but uh, Adams is foremost in the pack right now. She's got to get past two Minnesota blockers. And she does clear them for Lee Jammer. All right, they're dragging Fanny Tanner back. Looks yep. like Saracen. Pack has moved back to turn one. And Adams is already in there making her scoring pass. Oh, and on one foot makes it past two Minnesota blockers. Right on the Isn't that line. just like Adams? Fanny Tanner pushing at uh, one final Denver blocker. That's Rivas up in the front trying to hold her back. Yep, and she knocks her to the center. But Rivas did pick up a penalty for that. Final hit from uh, Akers. Forearm. And Fanny Tanner is out of the pack now, coming around to score. Yep, Rivas picked up a forearm. She spent it a minute in the block, in the box. Adams through, and she picks up her four points, calls it off. Bringing the Mile High Club score to 84. Minnesota staying at 50. Jamming now, we have Amanda Sharpless for Denver and Jukebox for Minnesota. Just a couple more jams left here in period number one, and we have Jukebox up to jam for Minnesota. There's the first whistle. Sharpless for Denver. Pushing at the back, there's a don't they call that the Great Wall of St. Paul? <laughs> Four Minnesota blockers. If they blockers don't, they should. The <laughs> yeah. T those tall Minnesota blockers really working together well and holding back Sharpless. Oh, Susie Long going to the box. And Jukebox is out for lead jammer. Did Jukebox jam a lot last night? She just jammed a couple of times that I remember. Maybe She looks, she looks a little tired this maybe morning. Maybe just know. once. I'm not sure. Oh, she's got to get past two more Denver blockers who are putting themselves out of play, and she does for five points. Where is our Denver jammer? There's Sharpless. Sharpless fighting in the front with just one more Minnesota blocker. That's number 13, Medusa. Still hasn't made it out of the pack for her initial pass, though, has she? She hasn't, no. Jukebox around for another oh, yeah. scoring pass. That's a five-point grand slam. Looks like Sharpless lost. Oh, no, there was no, a candy there was pass. No, a star okay. pass. So that's Sharpless Quigley gave it to jam Quigley. Jammer star. And now Quigley's out Quigley's front. out, and she is on Jukebox's uh, behind. Taking the front. Oh, Jukebox is knocked down at turn two, calls it off wisely before uh, Quigley could get to the back of the pack. So Minnesota did put, I believe, almost 15 points on the score. Yeah, let's give it a second and see what the scoreboard yeah, we'll people see. do. <laughs> so right now it's appearing Mile High Club 84, Minnesota 65. Not sure that's right, but we'll, we'll wait a second. We do know we have 358 left to play in this game, or this uh, first half. Gator Dunn is jamming for Denver. 187, that's Lexicutor for Minnesota. Lexicator and those long legs. Oh, we've lost a pivot cover. Akers putting that back on. Saracen's drug Lexicator all the way back past the jammer line. And while we're watching all that, Gator made it out to be lead jammer. She is making her scoring pass right now. So Lexi and Gator both in the pack at the moment. Lexi still fighting at the front with Saracen to get out on her initial pass. Oh, Denver lost their bridging there, and Lexi had to be let go. Gator's still on her scoring pass, though, and has a couple more seconds. Oh, she calls it off just yeah. as Lexi is ready to enter the pack. Lexi Smart was move. coming around fast there. Smart move. So that was a 0-0 zero, zero jam. Three minutes left in the period. So I guess the score really is mile high 84, Minnesota 65. 
We've got Fanny Tanner jamming again for Minnesota and Ranjan jamming for Mile High Club. All right, as this jam starts, it's going to be two minutes, 44 seconds left in the period. Pushing, pushing. Fanny oh, Tanner. Ranjan in the middle. Fanny Tanner getting knocked out by the Denver defense. She's still pushing at the back. Ranjan breaking Minnesota's bridge with and she's a fancy out. spin move. Yes, that was very nice. A little hit to the chest and a spin and she was out. SH Long really owning that Minnesota jammer at the moment. Oh, but she oh. makes it out. Yep. Ranjan threw on her scoring pass. That was a four point pass as the Minnesota jammer still in front of her. Going for that fifth point now, she gets it. Oh, oh. she tries to jump the apex, lands on her knees, calls the jam. No points and for Minnesota. Francie got one, maybe? Two? 92 for Denver now. Yeah. 65 for Minnesota. Ranjan, about 93. See, they, so they scoreboard people, <laughs> I tell ya. They just inch it right up there. We're gonna be talking to them during halftime. 93 Mile High Club, 65 Minnesota. Number nine out to jam for Minnesota. That's um, second hand second smoke. Second hand smoke, thank you. And, and <laughs> 19 for Denver, that's Julie Two. Adams. Yeah. <laughs> Little jammer on jammer pushing going on here. Not much else happening. Pack at a standstill. Secondhand smoke. Oh, Scott Adams. Secondhand smoke knocks oh, Adams out. That oh, really backfired. picked up a penalty. She got a clockwise blocking direction of gameplay penalty oh, for that. So. Adams on a power jam now, and she's through for lead jammer. She sure is. Look at her go. Denver backing it up, backing it up to turn one. Adams just. Through like butter. <laughs> Easy pass for Adams. Yes. We're likely to see Denver go over the century mark here in this jam. Nice offensive clear by Akers, and Adams through for another five-point pass. You know, I think the Minnesota girls are really spread out here. Denver seems to plan to be playing a good one-on-one -on -one game right now. These, De these Minnesota girls need to pack it up, make a four-wall, make it a little harder for Adams. She is cruising through with too much ease. <laughs> Made it through one more time, called it off. It brings Denver's score up to 108. Minnesota 65. Yeah, scoreless on that one. Ah, but does that say, does that really say 10 seconds left? Yeah, it looks like period? This, unless someone calls the timeout, we will have the period expiring before yep. this jam starts. Yeah, and it looks like they let it go. All right, we have a halftime of 15 minutes starting now. Mile and I'm afraid, and Mile High Club is at 108, Minnesota 65. Yeah, I'm and, and I'm going to have to say goodbye. Oh, yeah, Scar Trek's going to bail on me, so. Thank you're... you so much, Gonzo, for letting me join you on the <laughs> Thank call. Thank you, Scar. For the, for the first half, I do love to see the Denver Roller Dolls Mile High Club and also the Minnesota team. Big fans of both of these teams. Very so. exciting to see both of these yeah. teams play. Yes, always. So I'm glad I'm, you could make it. But Scar Trek has to run off and go yeah. put her skates on and skate at another facility. So, yes. <laughs> well, thank you, and I hope everyone enjoys the rest of the game. And All right. Okay, we're back for second half, and I've replaced Scar Trek permanently. Oh no! With the lovely Dave Rock. Lovely. Not Co talented. Co-producer and talented. Co-producer of Derby Baby, which everybody saw last year, right? Uh, yes, yes, everybody. Everybody. Okay. 2.3 billion people. <laughs> We've got skaters on the line already. We have Ranjan jamming for Denver. And it looks like... They still have Starman? a... No. They haven't filled a jam right now. No, the, the, it's, it's a power jam. Oh, yes, Starting that's right. Starting off on a power jam. Yeah, that's right. Sorry. Catching up from halftime. Yes. Halftime brain lapse. Okay, whistle blown. Francine pushing, pushing, pushing through that pack. She has been pushing all day. And there she goes. She's quick, she's tiny, she takes that inside, and she is the lead jammer. She's had some trouble, though, against Minnesota today, I've noticed. She's, uh, they, they, they've kept her in check, which is very unusual. Well, keep. they're known as the Great Wall of St. Paul. I love it. <laughs> I love it. There's and some big girls out there. Yes, there is. 
And I'm Our, still learning the lineup. So Hertrude Stein is just going to the box from Minnesota. Not sure what that call was about. Francie's trying to go through on her first score, and she is... Minnesota's blocker did make it back out to the pack, and that was secondhand smoke. But the jam has been called. Yeah, that's been the normal matchup, secondhand smoke and Francie this whole game. Yeah. Which is funny because Francie's got those short little legs, and secondhand smoke is really tall. Yeah, but it's been a great matchup. It I has mean. been. And... Since second half of the RMRG bout last night, secondhand smoke has really been picking up steam. Can you say that? Smoke and steam together? I, I can't say that. No. Okay. <laughs> I, I, I've been really impressed watching her between last night and today. Sharpless out for DRD. And again... Medusa is out for Minnesota. And they are just in a tangle, but there is Sharpless out of the pack. Squeezes on the outside. They just The pack just spit her out magically. <laughs> magically delicious. <laughs> In the meantime, Medusa is still, still trying to get trying through. Trying to fight through. She's um, got a four wall at Denver in front of her, and she's not going anywhere. Yeah, and it's it's a good four wall too because it's Minnesota trying to break them up, trying to play a little one on one there, but they have to deal with Sharpless coming in the back right now. Long is heading up this four wall for DRD and she has looked spectacular oh. today. Oh, Medusa is out. But Sharpless calls a jam after she picked up five. So it looks like the score now is Denver 123, Minnesota 66. Going back to that thought about Long, um, last night Harmony Killebrews was tearing it up in the second half and Long has found her number today and I've been uh. so impressed with Long today. She has really done well. Yeah, I missed that game last night. It was a, it was a, it was an interesting bout. Uh, Minnesota really went at halftime. They went in and they readjusted and came out with a much better second half. Lexicuter jamming for Minnesota up against. I don't even see Denver. Adams. I believe. Adams is it? I don't I even see the Adams. DRD jammer anywhere there right now. There she is. It's Adams. <laughs> And Fanny Tanner, blocker for Minnesota, taking a trip to the box. Lexicutor totally recycled at the back of the pack, not made it through yet. Yep. It's, uh, Knocked out by Sarilson and forced to go backwards. Adams coming in for another scoring pass. Oh, and she hits the back of, looked like I, Shiva Shankin. Yeah, took an elbow to the chest and just went straight down, but then picked Can't. her right back up and got through the pack for five. Wow. And she's already back on her second scoring pass in the meantime. Lexi is out. Not your lead jammer. Julie Adams calls that jam off. Smart play. Everybody's looking like they're starting to wake up. It, when, this, when this game started, it looked like a Sunday morning game. <laughs> well, we were trying to explain earlier that's why we call it the hangover bout. Most of these people either skated last night or attended the bout last night, so it's, it's a little slow going. Uh, yeah, uh, the fan base the same way. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so we got Ranjan jamming for Denver. Which means... She's probably up, up against, against secondhand, secondhand smoke. smoke. Oh, no, oh, no it's not. not. No, huh? That, who is that? That, that is, is Sherman. Who? Isn't it? I thought it was Jukebox. Is it Jukebox? I couldn't. I could, uh, oh, yeah, yeah jukebox, jukebox has the star. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It I'm is sorry. Jukebox. Ranjan recycled way back by secondhand smoke. And jukebox had that great jam at the end of the first half, so that's why they probably brought her back here. Try to she, do had some damage couple, she had a couple effective jams in the first half. And still, it's France, it's uh, Ranjan to get out for Lee Jammer. Jukebox right behind her. Yeah, yeah, and coming up quick, too. Pack is stopped around turn one. And she calls it off, but not before. Juke got, Juke got two points. Francie got three. 135 to 68 in favor of Denver. 24-58 left to play in this game. We're Gator, Gator yeah. Dunn back out. Gator so. Dunn. Going up against Harmony, looks like. Yes, Harmony yes. Killebrews. So we'll see. I don't see Long out there, though, to take on Killebrews. Or is, she, is that her behind? Uh, Gator pushing through. Diamond Rough. 
Gator, Gator gets comes through. out around turn two as lead jammer. Harmony still stuck in the pack, right behind Akers. Yep. The if pack. she can make it past Saracen, Denver's losing their bridge. Suddenly. Oh. Nope, Denver, uh, Pat caught up. Gator went through for five, Grand Slam. And... Oh, man. Harmony knocked down by... Is that Rivas? Rivas. Knocked inside by Rivas now. Yeah. yeah, from one side of the track to the wow. other. Wow. <laughs> Rivas is just uh, playing pinball with her. She is. Oh, Gator done. She got a call for... Uh, she cut the track. Yeah, a cut. Yep, she's going to the box. Having a little sit down there. So this becomes a power jam and a full one, a full jam for Harmony, who just squeezed through. She's got one minute to try to score some points here. Minnesota playing from the back. Denver's got a three wall up front. Harmony doing her best to get past that three wall. Minnesota kind of doing the sausage passive offense trick, trying to put Denver out of play. You're going to have to explain the sausage to me oh, soon. I don't know Dave, what that means. Dave, I don't want to go there. Yeah, oh, okay. <laughs> Saracen keeping... Uh... Uh, and now we're going to play... The, what does is, what is Brad call it? The jammer... Jammer and jammer pokey, out. Yeah, <laughs> jammer and jammer out. So Harmony just went to the box. There's 18 seconds Actually, left Actually, you jam. know what? That's not Harmony. That's Medusa. Is it? Yeah, how did we get that wrong? That was Medusa jamming. Yeah, I need more coffee. Can somebody deliver some coffee to the Glitter Dome? It. Jam is called off. But somehow, uh, Gator got four points, even though she got back in with only 18 seconds to go on that. 144 to 72 in favor of Mile High Club. 22 minutes left to play in this game. Sharpless jamming for Mile High Club. And it looks like, do they still have a jammer in the box? They still have a there? jammer in the box, yeah. Oh, who is it? Oh, it must be Medusa. Sharpless, oh, Minnesota girl trip. Sharpless works her way around her. And got to get past that wall of Minnesota there. And they put themselves out of play, so Sharpless is free to go. She took a shot to the chin, though, and she's holding her chin really nicely. She did. Favorably, I should say. Shiva Shankin taking a trip to the box. Also, Barrett from Mile High Club taking a trip. Yeah, there's more people skating on the outside of the track right now than the inside. <laughs> Jam's called off just as Medusa was released to jam. So let's sort out this mess here now. Who's okay. on the track? <laughs> well, let's see, who's not on the track? Barrett <laughs> from Mile High Club. So and Shiva Shankin from Minnesota are out. Okay. But it's a four on three pack advantage for Minnesota with Adams. No, it's a three on three. I'm sorry. And I didn't see. Adams who... from secondhand smoke. Oh, it is secondhand smoke. Yes. Yeah, you're right. Sorry. Oh, Sarilson is called for. Uh, I don't know, but secondhand smoke just got called out for a, yep. pro, a track power jam cut. for Denver. So power jam for Denver, but it's a three-on-two pack advantage for Minnesota. If everybody's come to a stop at turn four, as Adams approaches and she goes through and real again, easy. Minnesota needs to wall up here. They're kind yeah. of playing. Denver's forcing them to play a one-on-one -on -one game and splitting them up. So Adams just naturally jukes her way through that. Oh my goodness. She Adams calls off the jam while spinning backwards on one foot in an arabesque. Best move ever. <laughs> if the video makes it online, you have to watch this part. The, the judges gave it a 9.2. That's nice. That was incredible. Now, if she only would have been tying her skate lace as she did it, <laughs> that would have topped her uh, move at nationals. Right. Mile High Club 154, Minnesota All-Stars 72. Looks like Ranjan is jamming for Denver again. Secondhand Smoke still sitting in the box for Minnesota. Yep, so three. power jam Denver. Still three on two pack advantage for And those Minnesota girls Minnesota. out of play, gotta let Ranjan go. 
Everybody stopped at turn two as Francie comes back around. I keep calling her Francie. See, yep. By I Francie, too. I mean Ranjon. <laughs> and she squeezes through she for does. a grand slam. The big five points there. Okay, secondhand smoke is standing up in the box. She should be out in less than 10 seconds. In the meantime, Francie lost her star and has <gasps> oh, lost no. a lot of time because of this. And oh. secondhand smoke jumps the apex. Beautiful jump. She comes out around turn run, ju one, jumps to turn two. Ranjan managed to get through for another grand slam and called it off immediately as yep. secondhand smoke was approaching the pack on her scoring run. That was a beautiful move. It was really cool. You should have been there. <laughs> Don't you all wish you would have got up early on Sunday morning? 159 Mile High Club, Minnesota All-Stars 72. Sharpless is jamming for Mile High Club. Lexicutor for Minnesota. This should be good. And the we score is changing for Mile High Club. It's now 165. Two Mile High Club blockers in the box. Yeah, it's a full pack though for uh, Minnesota. If they can keep that wall and keep Sharpless down. But Lexicutor got re uh, recycled to the back of the pack. And Miles are... Oh, Sharpless takes a bold move and goes skating clockwise about half the track, thinking she was going to recycle Lexicutor, but that didn't work. Lexicutor got called out on some penalty and is sitting in the box now. <laughs> so Sharpless is back in the pack, normal play, everything's fine. And it's a choose-your-own penalty on that <laughs> one. <laughs> yeah. Actually, that's legal now to skate that far back. I know, I know. Well, the very first jam of the game, Ranjan like took yep. off backwards. It was a interesting tactic. You can skate up to one full lap backwards without lapping the pack. So it's it's kind of interesting. In the meantime, Sharpless is through. She's looking kind of tired. I wonder if she's going to call this here. Uh, I would imagine so since she's on a power jam. Uh, pack stopped at around turn two. That's and a lot of Minnesota girls there. Yeah, and Sharpless is holding her back and not moving fast. She's getting abused by... Yeah, she's got it. Oh, she takes a little knee fall there. She's got a pretty good four wall. And she does call it. That was Hertrude Stein giving her, giving her a run for her money on that one. Yeah, sometimes during that middle of the power jam, it's a good idea to call it and replace, your, replace with a fresh skater. Yeah, fresh wheels out there. She somehow got three points out of that mess, though. So it's 168 to 72 with... 16 minutes and 50 seconds to go in the half. Gator done. She's going to get it done for Mile High Club. And for the fourth jam in a row, <laughs> there is no jammer for Minnesota. That's right. Is but that uh, Lexi Q standing still Lexi in the box? Yeah, yeah, it's still Lexi. And she is going to get out in a second. Meantime, Gator's doing her best to Gator just play Twister on top with of a juice, couple of people. Box. But she makes it through. Lexi's out on the track. Gator adjusting her knee pads while skating. Yep, Lexi's out. She's not your lead jammer. But she is through the pack, and she's already coming up on the back of the pack for her scoring run. Gator just not getting past that wall of Minnesota, and she calls it. Yep. But she got so five points for that. She got a grand slam out of it. Somehow they're magically pulling out these points while not looking like they're getting through the pack. Again. 173 to 72, Mile High Club in the lead, 1545 left to play in this game. Secondhand smoke against Angela Adams on this jam. You mix that up too, that's Julie Adams and Angela Death. I know, you I see? do that all the time, I do don't too. I? It's, it's so difficult. What Announcing is hard, you? folks. Julie Adams is what I meant to say. <laughs> Thank you for the correction. <laughs> Because I'm a hoser. Nah, stop. Lexicutor, wow, she's, she's out. That's sex. For lead jam. No, that's secondhand smoke. Oh, secondhand smoke. Secondhand smoke out for lead ha. jam. <laughs> Touche, pussycat. <laughs> oh. And she's about to squeeze Adams through the pack. Adams working again. hard, working hard to catch up. In for her scoring pass. Secondhand smoke called it off, though, before. And it looks like three for Minnesota, zero for Denver there. Yeah. So now on this jam, we're both going to try to get all the okay, names we're right. Okay, we're going to do, do it all right. Ranjan jamming for Denver. And I cannot see who is in front of her for Minnesota. 
I don't need. Wait, I got this. You got I a got number. this. I got this. Oh, there it's we go. Fanny Tanner. Fanny Tanner. This is her third time out this morning. And whistle blows. Big and John scrum. Up against a four wall there of Minnesota. Four wall. Go five. Fanny's blocking. Yeah, it's a. Uh, oh, Rand John's really, really having a tough time pushing through there. Yep, but, but she does get one of them out of play. She is. Oh, she was just called. Yeah, and so was Long. And, oh. Long is out, too. Ranjan is called for a two-minute penalty. Long is out. Interesting. So Fanny Tanner's through the pack. She's already back around for her scoring run. Everybody's at the start line uh, waiting for her. We've only got two Denver blockers out there. But conversely, there's only three Minnesota blockers. It's a three on two. Yeah, but they're bigger. <laughs> so it's a six on two. And um, oh, and we're losing another Minnesota blocker. Who is this? This is number 28. 28, Scarman Electra taking a turn in the box. And in the meantime, Fanny has broken through again. Looks like we got uh, three Denver blockers, two Minnesota blockers. Fanny's got 10 points on this, uh, this jam so far. And she's met up with everybody around turn two. Everyone's kind of just hanging around waiting for her. She needs her team to bust up that wall of Denver up there. Yeah, she's she's looking a little winded right now. But and Denver's playing the front of the pack for sure. They've they've got all three up front. Oh, Susie Long just came back out. I imagine she'll join the front of the pack. Denver now has four blockers back, so they have the pack advantage. Lexa Cuter back out on the pack on the track also. No one really getting through anywhere, and everybody just kind of circumambulating. Is that right, <laughs> the track? That's an awfully big word for this morning. I know, and I'm not even sure I used it correctly. <laughs> we'll find out later. Somebody will well, Let's see who scored me. here. 173 Mile High Club, 89 from Minnesota. Good a job. A little over 12 minutes to go left in this period. We see Medusa out there, and Francie's two-minute penalty still has Denver down a jammer, so this is a yes. power jam. Power jam, Minnesota. Denver playing from the back right now. They don't want that jammer to get forward. But she's getting forward. The pack is moving very fast, and yes, she's out finally around turn three. It, Who was that again for Minnesota? Medusa. Medusa. Yeah, and it's a full complement of blockers for both teams. Well, it was a full complement. Sarilson. And Akers both go nope, off. I'm sorry, that's Betty White Knuckles going to the box for an out of play block. And along with Tracy Akers. Yep. But in the meantime, Francie is back out on the track. She's made it through the pack. She's on her scoring run now. She's not lead jammer. That is still Medusa, who's just called off the jam as she passes. How many did she get on that? Oh, zero, they're calling it. <laughs> wow, that was a lot of work for a zero zero game. Yeah. One seventy three, ninety four, still in favor of Denver. Ten fifty five left to play in this game. Lexicutors out against Sarah. Sarah I haven't seen her jam Interesting. today. Interesting. Yeah. Did she jam yesterday? Well, sh if she did, she was playing in a different game. <laughs> <laughs> well, you were you were there, weren't you? Sarah wasn't. Oh, she wasn't. Okay. No. See, I wasn't there. <laughs> Oh, that's right. They played RMRG. They played RMRG last night, yeah. Boy. Anyway. Lex coffee, please? <laughs> you bet. Coming up, stat. It's okay, Lexicuter is your lead jammer. She did make it through the pack. Sarilson is about to squeeze through right now. Yep. She just got through, but Lexicuter's already to the other the other side and, and cruises through easily for yep, five points. And calls it off. Four points, actually. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. She did not get past Sarilson. All right, and there's a, wow, there was a, a little big, pile up there in front of the penalty box. A big collision as Skater's leaving the track, hit Skater's coming on the track. 
I hate it when that happens. And yeah. That, that, it's, it happens. It really does. Gator Dunn putting Jukebox. on the star. And going against Jukebox. And we have two Mile High Club girls in the box. Yes. One Minnesota girl in the box. And Jukebox makes it look easy. She gets through for Lee she Jammer. She does. Look at that. Gator still working her way through. Yeah, G Gator was one that was involved in that pileup just a second ago yeah. as skaters were leaving. And I think it took a toll on her. In the meantime, Jukebox gets through for a grand slam. Again, making it look really easy. Quigley now taking a seat in the box. Gator, Gator knocked out by uh, Lexi. So Lexi? No, secondhand smoke. Secondhand smoke. Recycled the to the very back of the pack. Yeah, Gator. Oh, beautiful. Secondhand smoke knocked her out again. Recycles her back some more. I am really impressed with secondhand smoke these last two games. I'm. She has been a great two-way player. Oh, but she just oh, got called out. On a what? <laughs> I don't know, actually. Was that a cut? No. Well, she's she's the pivot. I don't know how what happened, but in the meantime, Gator. We got a lot of people going to the back. Secondhand smoke. There Tracy are, Acres. How many are on the track? Um, <laughs> Shiva Shankin. Yeah. No, Shiva's not going to the box. Sorry, she was just leaving the track. But Gator is in the box, so Denver will not start with a jammer. In the meantime, it, it, that was at least a 15-point, if not a 20-point jam for Jukebox. She uh, pulled. Minnesota over the century mark. It's a, it's 173 to 113 now, so only a 60-point difference now. Look at this, a pivot line start. Oh my gosh, I've never seen that before. <laughs> Lexicutor is your jammer. She's pr pretty much all alone back there, too, with this pivot line start. She got some speed going. She's got to get past Revis. And she does. Almost, almost. Oh. Revis there. falls. She's, oh, there goes Lexicutor. She's gone. And in the meantime, Diamond Ruff got called out, so it is now a three-on-one pack advantage for a moment because Diamond Ruff is now being told to come back to the track. There's too many people in the penalty box. Quigley back out into the box again. So it's a two-on-two -two pack, uh, pack situation, not advantage. I was told there'd be no math this morning. Well, s there's not. <laughs> <laughs> when there's this when Lexicutor. there's this few people on the track, there's not a lot of math. It's great. Executor right by Saracen coming around. She got five points. Coming around for some more. And it's uh, seriously the the blockers for Minnesota are just taking turns sitting on. Uh, yeah. I can't even keep up with. It's a who's rotate, going out. rotating penalty box. But. Gator Lexi Dunn is and, out. And Lexicutor is ooh. Calling a, it off. Yeah, after taking a big hit. And then conversely, Gator took a big hit. And who got the illegal Some procedure? Some illegal procedure? Who was that? On Gator. Oh. Interesting. Does that mean they'll start with no jammer? Oh, it does. She's back in the box as a jammer. So Minnesota is going to start with a with a power jam here. This is a good opportunity for Minnesota. They 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 have consistently in the past three jams scored the only points. It's 173, 118. There's six minutes to go. Secondhand smoke is your jammer for Minnesota. Gator Dunn is in the box for my high club. It's a three on two pack advantage for Denver, but this is a power jam. And let's see what happens. Secondhand Smoke is getting... She's kind of waiting around to see what her girls are going to do. There yeah, she goes. But she got through. Yep, lead jammer. In the meantime, Quigley has been released. She's out. So it's four on two for Denver in terms of blockers. Secondhand Smoke is looking for a way through that line, but not making it. Quigley trying to get to the front, but she's being goaded there a little bit. And it's Long gets thrown out again. Susie Long going to the box. Two Minnesota girls are standing, ready to come back in. Secondhand spoke it, is it stopped and like lining up a, her sights for a second to try to figure out what to do here because there's just chaos. Oh, and she calls it from the floor. She's knocked down at turn four. She's getting up kind of slow there. Yeah, I think she's just 
wasted. I don't think she's hurt as much as she's just, she got wasted on that jam. That yeah, took, that was a brutal jam. Took 90% of her Looks energy. Looks like she fell and hit her hip. She kind of flipped over from her back to her stomach. Might have got the wind knocked out of her. But she's sitting up on the track. She's looking okay. Yeah, everything's good there. Jukebox taking the star from Minnesota. And Gator is standing in the box, waiting to be up. Oh, Gator is released already. She comes back in at the back of the pack. And meantime, Jukebox has made it through the pack, fought her way through. Gator making her way through the pack. So now Juke's got to put on some speed here because Gator's coming up quickly behind her. The pack has decided to start moving really fast, oh, yeah. too. And lo and behold, is this a full compliment? No. Uh, no, we have one Denver person in the box. Juke calls it. Yep, wisely. Yeah, the speed was just a little too much. That was a 0 0 jam, so it's 173 to 122. Still in favor of Mile High Club. 356 left to play in this game. Fanny Tanner out against Adams. Julie Adams, not Angela. That's right. <laughs> You're so good at this. I'm getting better. <laughs> Five more minutes and I'm going to be a star on this thing. <laughs> this is my first broadcast this year. Really? I feel I feel rusty. Yeah. Like, it's, it just goes away over the off season. Well, it's my first too, so how's that? <laughs> Adams, again. Taking a fall at turn one. Don't know what happened there. No, but she always looks like she gets a big elbow to the chest because she's such a short little girl. Yeah. In the meantime. Oh, wow. Fanny pushing through, pushing right, right past Rivas. And she is your lead jammer. Yeah, she worked that. hard to get that too. Susie Long released coming up to the back of the pack. Fanny trying to make her scoring pass, and Adams is just now out. Pack comes to a crawl around turn two as... Yeah, they're creating a lot of confusion there. Yes. Jam was called. Two for Minnesota, zero for Denver. Well, they're chipping away, yep. but their clock is not working against them. Yeah, not a lot of time left. 173, 124, still in favor of Denver. Less than 50, though, now. Ranjan for Mile High Club. And, and by Ranjan, I mean Francie. Francie Pants. Yes. Harmony Killer Brews for Minnesota. Ranjan's starting about four paces back from Harmony. The penalty box is empty. Oh, my gosh. Which is nice. Quick, send somebody there. <laughs> it's empty. <laughs> Keep the seats warm. <laughs> It won't be long. It is a scrum start. They, no, like, one, I, they just are not moving. This is. It's like tap dancing on roller skates. Is that what that is? It is. I'll be damned. I wouldn't have called it that, but okay. Harmony knocked out by Saracen, recycled at the back of the pack. Betty White Knuckles being sent to the box. I did not see what the penalty was because it was around turn two, which is the Run, furthest around from us. That is the worst place to see. Run Jean coming in for her scoring pass because she just came out as lead jammer. In the meantime, Who's 727? Oh, yeah. Hertrude Stein. I haven't been able to memorize her number. She also got sent to the penalty box. Um, Francie still working Jukin hard. Jukin yeah, and Jukin. Jukin through. She makes it through. She gets four. That's four points for John. And the pack is waiting for her at the pivot line. Yep. There's the Great Wall of St. Paul up front, but Harmony. not enough hold her back. No, Harmony's moving really slow. I mean, like to the point where it doesn't yeah, look like I'm she's... Kinda, kind of confused about what's going on with her. Yeah. She had a lot of speed earlier. Um, she keeps getting recycled. Okay, she passed... She passed the uh, star to Shiva Shankin, is that? Who's that? 172, I think, over there? She has passed the star. 187. Oh, 187. Sorry. Lexicuter. Yeah, Lexicuter. Okay, let's see. That might we might have some more gas with Lexicuter. Yeah. And it's just a mess still right now. It's really hard to tell who's got an advantage here. <laughs> um, she gets through the pack, Lexicuter. Now, she is a. She did not score. This is her scoring run now. And in, but because of that, Francie has called everything off. Um, Francie was just having troubles getting through, too. She, she did get that four points on this jam, but then just got used and abused. So there's only 13 seconds on the clock. Uh, it looks like we may get off one more jam because who called a timeout? That would be Mile High Club has called a timeout. 
It's 182 to 124. Brad example, making everything easy for me because I just keep copying everything he says. <laughs> <laughs> That's the way to go. Yeah, exactly. Sorry, I'm tinkering with some things. Tinker away. Um, it's a timeout, so you're allowed to tinker. Okay. And if you heard that, it's Wilhelm against Jukebox, or at least that's the way it's looking right now. This could change. I'm not sure why. Oh. All right, timeout's over. Everybody's got to come back. Mile High Club is slow to come back to the start line, but here they come finally. Uh, they put a couple seconds back on the clock. There's 16 seconds now left in the period. I'm not sure that's going to be enough time for Minnesota, who is down by 61 points at this point. But Jukebox is going to do her damnedest. It looks like she's still fighting hard. Uh, not as much of a scrum start as the last one, but still a pretty slow start. Um, but it's now starting to open up, and Wilhelm gets through for lead jammer. It looks like Jukebox was recycled to the back of the pack, but she is fighting again. Um, Denver is able to form the four, four wall, but Wilhelm called it off as the clock ticked down to zero, and the game has ended. Yep, we have an unofficial score. We're going to give it just a few seconds here and see what happens. You know, the scorekeepers are always a little bit... Uh, yeah, I don't Slow, think, shall we say. <laughs> I don't think she scored anything, though, because I think yeah. she just got through for Lee Jammer and called it off. I'm going to go ahead and say it's 185, 124 in favor of Mile High Club. I think you're safe to say that. Yeah. I think that was a really well-fought game. Uh, Minnesota was down by quite a bit, uh, yeah. and they, they brought it up. They started off hard, though, um, which was really impressive. Being, a, again, a Sunday morning, uh, you traveled all day yesterday. You had to play last night against Rocky Mountain. Yep. And, you know, I, I'm a big believer in the altitude making a difference. You know, they're coming from sea level, and we train out here. So For sure. Uh, two nights in a row of playing, wow. That's that's something. But, yeah, this was a very respectable t uh, score, 185 to 124, given that last night was 299 to 191. Yeah. So they lost by over 100 points last night. But, oh, you were right. Look at the scoreboard is changing on us as oh, we talk. Oh, it is. Look at that. My goodness. 190 to 124. Is now going to be the final score. Still in favor of Denver. Still in favor, yes. <laughs> really great performances out there from Jukebox and Secondhand Smoke. Yeah. Um, I'm blown away by Secondhand Smoke. Yeah, um, made a big difference in the game. And, and Diamond Rough. <laughs>